Hi students, we are discussing about the De Moivre's theorem. So the question is given that solve the equations. He has given the few equations asking us to solve. And here, what is the first one? X power nine minus X power five plus X power four minus one equal to zero. If we keenly observe this, uh, we can identify as from the first two terms we can take x power 5 as a common then we can write x power 4 minus 1 plus we can write it as x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 now we can take x power 4 minus 1 as a common then we can write x power 5 plus 1 equal to 0 that means here we are obtaining the two conditions one is x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 one condition and another condition is x power 5 plus 1 equal to 0 so now try to solve this x power 4 minus 1 then we can write this is as x power 4 equal to 1 that implies we can write x is equals to 1 power 1 by 4 that means which is nothing but fourth root of unity so we have solved the nth root of unity in that one we already discussed about the finding the fourth root of unity just please watch the videos now i am again explaining over here we can write x is equals to 0 1 can be written as cos 0 plus i times of sine 0 power 1 by 4 now we can generalize this as cos 2k pi plus 0 that means simply I am writing it as cos 2k pi plus i sin 2k pi power 1 by 4 and now we can apply the de Moivre's theorem. So what is cos theta plus i sin theta all power n can be written as cos okay here it is cos 2k pi into 1 by 4 cos 2k pi into 1 by 4 plus i times of sin 2k pi into 1 by 4 okay so where the k values so we know that the k values are to be taken from 0 to n minus 1 here the k integer 0 1 2 n minus 1 here n is equals to 4 4 minus 1 means we need to take up to 3 only then we can write this is as cos k pi by 2 plus i times of sin k pi by 2 okay k pi by 2 where this is x equal to so from this one now substitute k equals to 0 1 2 3 we will get the four roots of this x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 the four roots directly i am writing over here the x is equals to if k is equals to 0 cos 0 plus i sin 0 we obtain as 1 and if k is equals to 1 cos pi by 2 0 plus i sin pi by 2 is means plus i and if k is equals to 2 cos pi we obtain over here it is a minus 1 plus i sin pi is 0 and k is equals to 3 cos 3 pi by 2 again cos is 0 plus i sin 3 pi by 2 we obtain this is as minus 1 so here we are obtaining the values of x as the four values the fourth root of unity will have the four values those four values are plus 1 minus 1 plus i minus i now we have to solve another condition what is the condition over here and the next one is x for x power 5 plus 1 so we can write this is as so sorry so x power 5 equal to minus 1 so where minus 1 can be written as cos pi plus i times of sin pi in the polar form then from this one x can be written as cos pi plus i times of sin pi whole power 1 by 5 now generalize this so now the generalization is cos of 2k pi plus pi plus i times of sine of 2k pi 
प्लस फाइव होल पावर वन बाय फाइव ओके नाउ वी कैन जनरलाइज दिस आइस कॉस ऑफ टू के प्लस वन इनटू पाइ प्लस आई टाइम्स ऑफ साइन ऑफ टू के प्लस वन इनटू पाइ होल पावर वन बाय फाइव this is the generalization where k values are from 0 to n minus 1 so that means 0 1 2 3 4 here n is equals to 5 and we can write this is as x is equals to now apply the demovis theorem directly we can write this is as cos 2k plus 1 times of pi by 5 plus i times of sine 2k plus 1 into pi by 5 okay now we applied the demovis theorem now we can write in generalized eyes cos theta plus i sin theta i cis times of 2k plus 1 into pi by 5 where k has to be taken from 0 1 2 3 4 okay the five values of k over here now if we substitute k is equals to 0 the values we obtain over here x is equals to so what is the value we obtain cis pi by 5 is one value and k is equals to 1 k is equals to 1 cis 3 pi by 5 and k is equals to 2 simply it is nothing but cis pi and k is equals to 3 cis 7 pi by 5 okay 7 pi by 5 and k is equals to 4 we obtain this is as cis 9 pi by 5 okay here we obtain this as 9 pi by 5 okay so here these are the values and here cis 7 pi by 5 can also be written as cis of minus 3 pi by 5 and cis 9 pi by 5 can also be written as cis of minus pi by 5 okay why because cos theta plus i sin theta and cos 7 pi by 5 can be written as 2 pi minus 3 pi by 5 and sin theta so sin 7 pi by 5 can be written as sin of 2 pi minus 3 pi by Five. So here the x values over here we are obtaining it is i's. So cos pi is we obtain this as minus one cis pi cos pi plus i sin pi minus here it is minus one, and here we obtain cis of plus or minus pi by five. These are the two roots and cis of plus or minus three pi by five. Okay, then totally we are obtaining for the given expression. What is the given expression? So here we have x power 9 minus x power 5 plus x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So if we are solving for x and we are obtaining the x, the roots are 9 roots i's. So plus r minus 1 where minus 1 is repeated 2 times. Okay. And another roots are plus r minus i. Okay. Plus r minus i comma cis plus or minus pi by 5 and cis plus or minus 3 pi by 5 so these are the nine roots we are obtaining and we are solved for the values of x for the given equation so the next question is solve for x power 11 minus x power 7 plus x power 4 minus 1 equals to 0 so he has given a polynomial and asking us to solve means we need to find out the values of x which satisfies this given equation so now by clearly that from the first two terms if we take x power 7 as a common then we can write this as x power 4 minus 1 plus and again we can write it as x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 and over here we are obtaining the x power 4 minus 1 as a common then we can write this is as x power 7 plus 1 equal to 0 here we have the two conditions one is x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 and another condition is x power 7 
plus 1 equal to 0. Just in the previous problem itself, we have solved that x power 4 equal to 1. That implies x is equal to 1 power 1 by 4. That means the fourth root of unity. This will have the four values as x is equal to plus or minus 1 and x is equal to plus or minus i. So these are the four values for this condition. Next, the condition is we need to solve for x power 7 plus 1 equal to 0. And we can write this is as over here as x power 7 equal to minus 1. And that implies we can write x is equal to minus 1 power 7. So just before we have sorry minus 1 power 1 by 7. Okay x is equal to minus 1 power 1 by 7. That means it is 7th root of minus 1. So we can write this is as x is equal to in the polar form as cos pi plus i times of sin pi power 1 by 7. Now we can generalize this as cos 2k pi plus pi plus i times of sin 2k pi plus pi power 1 by 7. So now we can again rewrite this is as cos of 2k plus 1 times of pi plus i times of sine of 2k plus 1 times of pi power 1 by 7. Now we can apply the De Moivre's theorem over here cos theta plus i sine theta. Then we can write this is a directly I am writing this as cis, cis theta all power n can be written as cis n theta. Now we can write the cis of 2k plus 1 into pi into 1 by 7 that means 2k plus 1 pi by 7 now x values are cis of 2k plus 1 pi by 7 where the k values are from 0 to n minus 1 here n is equals to 7 then we obtain from 0 to 6 so now the values we obtain over here it is if uh, k is equals to 0 then we write this is as cis pi by 7 k is equals to 0 we write this as cis pi by 7 and k is equals to 1 cis 3 pi by 7 k is equals to 2 cis 5 pi by 7 and k is equals to 3 cis 7 pi by 7 okay cis 7 pi by 7 and next 4 cis 9 pi by 7 and writing over here and uh, cis k is equals to 5 11 pi by 7 okay 11 pi by 7 and uh, finally k is equals to 6 cis we write this as 13 pi by 7 over here cis 7 pi by 7 can be written as cis pi nothing but cos pi plus i sin pi that means the resultant over this one can be written as minus 1 also already the minus 1 over here finally for this given 11 roots okay for this one the 11 roots can be written as for the given equation x power 11 minus x power 7 plus x power 4 minus 1 the 11 roots are x is equals to plus or minus 1 where minus 1 is repeated two times then plus or minus i then next we can write this is as cis pi by 7 cis 3 pi by 7 next cis 5 pi by 7 okay next cis 9 pi by 7 then next cis 11 pi by 7 and cis 13 pi by 7 so these are the values of the roots of the or values of the given equation x power 11 minus x power 7 plus x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0